So we're solving negative 4x squared plus 6x minus 3 is 0. We're plugging into the quadratic formula. A is neg negative 4, B is 6, C is negative 3. So I'm going to plug in this formula and write that right down here. So I have substituted the values of A, B, and C into the quadratic equation right here. And now I'm going to start simplifying. So first I have negative 6 So I did the math here. I said I brought down the negative 6. I said 6 squared is 36. I did negative times negative times negative is a negative and 4 times 4 times 3 is 48 and then 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Now from there I take 36 minus 48 which is negative 12 and I put that over negative 8. Now before I go any further I need to take this and I need to reduce it. So we took the square root of negative 12, we put it here, the negative comes out to make an I, and then we recognize that 12 is 4 times 3, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we got 2i square root of 3, which is the same as square root of negative 12, so instead of putting square root of negative 12, I could put 2i. Now from there, um, we don't usually like negatives in the denominator. So what I could do is divide everything by a negative. So I'd get 6 and 8. So I divided negative 6 by negative 1. I divided plus negative divided by negative 1, which stays plus negative. And then I took negative 8 divided by negative 1. So anytime you have a negative in the denominator, that's what I would do. And then also I recognize that these three six, two, and eight are all divisible by two. So now I can divide them all by two. and I get my solutions. So in simplified form, one of my solutions is 3, I squared to 3 over 4 with the plus sign, and my other solution is 3 minus I squared to 3 divided by 4. So this, rep this represents two solutions, one with the plus, one with the minus. You do not have to write them twice. You could just write it like this. So this is my solution. Now when you look at this quadratic, which I graphed it, you'll see what it looks like. And the reason why these solutions are imaginary is because it never crosses the x-axis in the real number system. Therefore, it must have two imaginary solutions, which we just found. 